Hi, in this video, we are going to solve questions related to dice from the topic permutation and combination. So let us understand the concepts first and then we'll look at a few questions. Now, when a die is rolled, we are going to get six outcomes. We are going to get outcome as one or two or three or four or five or six. We are going to get six outcomes. Now, when two dice are rolled, total we are going to get 36 outcomes. Why 36? Because 6 into 6. Mul fundamental principle of counting multiplication rule. Now, Now, when two dice are rolled, what is the minimum sum of those outcomes? Is minimum sum of the outcomes is two because one appearing on each die and maximum sum of the outcomes would be 12 that is 6 appearing on both the dice now we know that minimum sum would be 2 and maximum is 12 so what I'll do is simply I'll draw a triangle here so I'll start from 2 2 3 4 5 6 right 7 over here then 8 then 9 10 11 maximum or maximum sum of the outcomes is 12 now after writing it writing these all possible summations sum of two numbers sum of two outcomes when two dice are rolled i've written it here what i'll do is i'll simply write start writing from 1 over here 2 over here 3 4 5 6 again downward that is 5 4 3 2 and 1 over here now I'll, I'll explain what what does this combination means that is the number that is written within the bracket I'll take this particular case and the number that is written outside the bracket as as seen earlier the number that is written the uh, written outside the bracket would be is nothing but sum of the outcomes some of the outcomes when two dice are rolled when two dice are rolled that is the sum of the outcomes next the number that is written within the bracket indi indicates number of times sum of the outcomes would be equal to 2 sum of the outcomes outcomes would be equal to 2 outcomes is 2 so there will be only one number of time when the sum of the outcomes would be 2 because one appearing on both the dice it is going to happen only in one way or else in one time so that is why it is 1 now let us understand another uh, through an another example so let us take this portion so 4 within the bracket 3 is written so what does that mean the sum of the outcomes when two dice are rolled is 4 sum of the outcomes is 4 and number of times we are going to get the sum of the outcomes as 4 is 3 sum of the outcomes as 4 is 3 as 4 is 3 how because we are going how why it is 3 i'll explain it here you can get 4 in this way one appearing on one of the dice and the two and three is appearing on the second dice three appearing in one on one of the dice and the one is appearing on the sec second dice 
and two appearing on both this both the dice these are all the three ways or else three num three times we we can get the sum of the outcomes when two dice are rolled as four now how this triangle will help me in solving questions so now let me write that uh, draw the triangle again over here starting with 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 starting with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 sorry here again we are going to have 5 4 3 2 and one now the questions that are asked in the exam would be as follows when two dice are rolled find the probability that this sum or sum of the outcomes is nine this is the question sum of the outcome is nine how many times we have we how many outcomes would be there first of all we'll decide about the denominator so how many outcomes would be there when two dice are rolled 36 outcomes would be there out of these we are going to find out the those outcomes where the sum of the numbers that are appearing on the dice is equals to 9 so as we can see here there will be four such cases so the answer is 1 by 9 so within one second we were able to solve because we have understood the concept next questions can also be in this way probability that the sum of the outcomes on the both the dice or when two dice are rolled is either four or is four or eight so this is so for four we are going to have three times it is going to uh, the sum of the outcomes can be four and for eight there will be five times the sum of the outcomes would be eight and because here it is or we have added it and divided by 36 out of all possible outcomes so this is 8 by 36 again within one second we were able to solve next next question would be probability that the sum of the outcomes is a perfect square outcomes is a perfect square is perfect square so what are the perfect squares 4 is a perfect square 9 is a perfect square so the sum of the outcomes is a perfect square so what is the probability it can be that means this is nothing but probability that sum is 4 or 9 so for 4 it is 3 and for 9 it is 4 so divided by 36 this is 7 by 36 there can be a question in this way probability that the sum of the outcomes is a perfect cube sum of the outcomes is a perfect cube that means this is nothing but probab only perfect cube in the outcomes would be 8 so this probability that sum is 8 this is same as probability that sum is 8 so sum is 8 probabilities we are going to get 5 such cases out of the 5 such outcomes where the sum is 8 and out of 36 outcomes next next question can be in this way also probability that this sum of the outcomes is prime that means this is nothing but probability that sum is 2 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 11 so for 2 it would be 1 and for 3 it would be 2 for 5 it would be 4 and for 7 for 7 it would be 6 and for 11 it would be 2 divided by 36 so this is nothing but 10 14 15 by 36 
सो थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग टू मी